Welcome back, everybody. This is Kenny. I am the show where I spin my atoms, so you don't have to waste yours. I do get these videos out every Tuesday, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. And this week we had the Comforts of Home Bundle, which had six items in it. The Mobile Home Trailer, Hot Tub, and Red Brick Wall you can get for 500 atoms separately. And then the Brick Floors, the Room Divider, and the Loot Bag you can get for 250 separately. Um, but thankfully it's all one big bundle you can get for 1500 atoms. And we will take a look at the, uh, the APC here. Where I don't know where that's at. It's under the fallout first. There's the tent. We're going to look at that separately in a different video, so I will be sure to uh, upload that right after this video releases. So keep an eye out for that. All right, so we're going to start off with these walls here. Now, these are under the defenses. They're not under the normal walls, which, of course, is, makes sense because it's an exterior kind of uh, fence brick wall, essentially. I love this center column here. I think this could be uh, very useful. It'll, it'll be great to see what people do with it. Uh, they do snap together. It's kind of weird trying to figure out how exactly they, like, snap together. Like, this pillar here didn't – or it did snap to that, and then this one didn't snap into it. it so just keep that in mind. It's There's probably a method to the madness once you – dig a little deeper into it but uh, I didn't quite figure it out but they do snap together in some capacity and we have of course the double gate there and then we have the single gate here and next up we're going to take a quick look at this floor this is the uh, brick flooring now there's no wall variation to match which is a little disappointing and this quite frankly looks more like a wall it doesn't look like a floor but hey it's uh, always good to have other floor options and we're going to look at the hot tub next here. So this hot tub, um, it's kind of always on here, always making noise. And you get a well-rested bonus. So if you don't want to you know, sleep when you uh, try to get your 5%, just hop in your hot tub and uh, relax in style to get your 5% uh, bonus to your XP there. And it's a little bigger than one floor tile, which is kind of annoying. It'd be nice if things could snap to it, but you know, still pretty awesome to see. And now to the main attraction. We have the trailer here. Now, I did uh, play around, kind of put a few things onto it just to see what we got, what we're working with there. Um, let's see, these two windows here, at least, you know, you can look through them. I threw some curtains up on the inside, you can see there. Uh, the windows on the back and on the far side are boarded up, just like the makeshift uh, Mega Mansion uh, wall uh, door windows. So that's yeah, a little annoying. Now, the, <clears throat> the door here is very specific. Um, it's thankfully a second door, but unlike, let's see, let's see here, I'll go ahead and take it off. So we have two different colors now. We have the blue one, which is for this trailer, and then this gray one, which is for the makeshift Mega Mansion. But as you notice, it doesn't snap. <laughs> so, of course, you can do the trick where you place this one, and then you, let's see, replay. Oh, come on. Oh, my oh replace it with any other door in that including the gray door here but you can re realistically do any of these doors that way I have the flying fortress door on the middle up there as you can see uh, kind of that one works really well up there let's see but let's go ahead and head inside here take a look now these curtains to the right these are the only ones that I could get to snap up there and they were they kind of float away from the wall a little bit so keep that in mind um, let's see, I've got my weapon racks here. Just want to make sure things can place on the wall. I didn't have any issues with any other floor to, uh, or, or wall decor in here, so thankfully nothing, nothing bad there. And this little rustic room divider. And lastly, we're going to take a look at the drop loot bag. Let's see here, what do we got? We'll, uh, we'll drop this little uh, grenade there. So there we are. And it's a little Nuka Cola case with uh, some beers in there. So we're going to go ahead and just take a little time to soak in the hot tub. And on to the Ken Pull of the Week. And, you know, the Follow Feed podcast, they oftentimes will discuss kind of regional foods. It's kind of like their subtopic sometimes. So I was kind of curious what regional foods right here in West Appalachia people would like. And so we have, um, I, you know, I avoided like Deathclaw and other creatures that we've already seen. But uh, the four creatures I have chosen, which seem to be specific to West Appalachia, are the angler, the fog crawler, the gulper, and the snallygaster. And so far, the fog crawler is taking it by storm at 59%. So head on over to cast your vote in that pool uh, on Twitter. I will put a Twitter link to that in the description down below. Other than that, folks, take care, and I will see you in the wasteland. Bye bye.